Okay. My next item is getting that kind of wood burned look um, onto something, that effect, without actually having to use anything to make smoke or having to use um, anything, you know, that's gonna be out of the ordinary. This is the easiest way to do it. This is from We Are Memory Keepers, and what you're getting is both a glue and a singe quill um, bundle in this one. You get um, all of that, and this is getting any of those projects um, that you use with those electronic die cutting machines, this is taking it to the next level. So for under $30, I'm gonna have any um, Ali Dostal uh, kind of show us everything that comes in the kit. And Ali, you've been a crafter personally for over 20 years. 10 of those you have been, used, you've been with, we are memory keepers. So you might know a little bit about taking something to the next level. That's right. I have loved my time with this um, company because of the innovation and the creativity. Um, and so in this bundle, like you said, you're going to up your electronic die cutting machine game, turn your cutting machine into a uh, glitter machine, an embossing machine, and a wood burning machine. You're getting the glue quill kit plus two extra glue pens. You're getting the cinch quill kit plus two extra um, singe quill pens and this kit comes with 18 pieces of wood ephemera that are in cool shapes and designs for you to um, wood burn or singe on plus you're getting a pack of um, the larger pieces and those are great for making your own mini albums or journals or planners or whatever you're into making so I'm going to get started with um, the glue quill first um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue quill pen and I like to go ahead and just test the flow first. I kind of press down on the tip and just make sure the glue is flowing. And then I'm going to take the magic adapter. This is what really makes this machine um, usable in almost any of your die cutting machines, Cricut, Silhouette, Brother, and Sizzix, and there's a different adapter for each machine. So once you've done that, you're gonna insert it into your machine and get that ready to go. And then I've already got my paper on my cutting mat and I'm just gonna send my artwork over. Um, and you can use any of your uh, current uh, library of files or designs. You can use um, your own text, you can customize things. In fact, let me show you while this is uh, drawing, I've already started a wood piece here and I've gone through the same process. I just put this on my cutting mat and then it drew a design with the singe quill um, and by the way, the cinch quill comes with a fine and a bold tip. Now I'm gonna just add some heat. This is e heat reactive ink that is in that pen. So again, like you said, we're not actually burning anything. We're just getting that look and there's no smoke involved. So watch the magic happen. I'm gonna lay this down here and we're just gonna finish this off. And what's cool is this is personalized. So it's got somebody's name on here. So you can totally customize these projects however you'd like them to be. I'm gonna get this pretty close to my wood and you're gonna start seeing that design come through. There we go. Now you can start seeing it coming through. All right, and if I were at home doing this, I would detail that a little more and get it to come out a little more, but we're gonna finish off for now. And let me show you a layout where we did the exact same thing. We just added this cute little piece of wood ephemera onto the layout that's customized with the name of the person in the picture and the date. And you look at this one, you've, we've even added some hand-drawn doodles and handwriting at the bottom. So if you wanna add your own personal handwriting or your child's handwriting, you can do that as well, which is really cool. So now let's take a look at this piece that I drew with glue on regular cardstock, plain cardstock. That's now finished. So I'm gonna show you a really cool technique with some of the glitter that actually comes in your kit. Um, you get a few different colors and all we're going to do is do like an ombre effect so i'm just going to start sprinkling some dark pink up here at the top um, to get my this is actually don't tell this is my my daughter she's having a birthday here in a um, next month and so this is going to be her personalized birthday card then we're going to put a little lighter pink down here and just make sure we get some good coverage and then we're going to put some silver down at the bottom if i can get that opened oh try that side okay 
And Allie, while you're finishing yeah. um, that one up, uh, Melissa joined us on Facebook and she wanted to know if this will work with the Cricut Joy. And I know we kind of um, hit, hit on that at the beginning, but if someone's just joining in, what will this work with? Um, this will work with the Cricut um, Explore Air and Explore Air 2 and the Cricut Maker um, and most of the Silhouette brands and Brother brands as well. So take a look at that. I mean, how amazing is that? And that's personalized. It's got her name. It's got her age. And then look what I did here is I took this card and I actually added some hand-drawn elements around the side and I filled in the cherry at the top. And so you can use this without an electronic cutting machine. Um, so if you want to just use it by hand and you don't have a cutting machine, you can totally go ahead and do that. So you can totally take these projects to the next level. Um, and let me show you a couple of examples of handwritten, gorgeous handwritten um, uh, projects that we did. So if you're a hand letterer, if you like to um, do calligraphy or um, hand lettering, you can use these the exact same way um, just by hand and then heat it up or add your glitter or embossing powder. Let me show you, speaking of embossing powder, a quick project with the embossing powder. So that comes in your kit, the embossing powder. You get glitter and embossing powder. Same thing, we just drew on here with the glue pen, added the embossing powder, put the heat gun to it, and then watercolored inside. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? Here's one of my favorite projects, Tina, is this amazing menu. Look at that wedding menu with the glitter. I mean, amazing. How much would that cost? Well, and I want to remind everyone, Ellie, as they're kind of looking at, at the different creations that you're showing, you're getting both bundles in here. This isn't a, a pick or choose. You get the glue and the singe quill, um, both of them. The glue quill kit um, that she was just talking about and the singe quill kit. And again, being able to get that one wood burned effect or look without the smoke. We saw Allie doing that. We saw all the gorgeous glitter, which is was, was just on that menu that uh, we were seeing. But it, the entire thing comes in this kit. It's not a pick or choose, you get all of it. So all of the creations you just saw Allie made, you could do yourself. Absolutely, that's correct. Here's another example of the gorgeous hand lettering that you can do. If you don't like your hand lettering, you can use a stencil. If you've got stencils at home, pull out a stencil, write with the pen and the stencil, and you're, you're good to go. So a lot of options for every crafter. Absolutely, under $30, 718-344. Allie, thank you so much. All right, I also want to give you guys one more um, look at our today's special. I had that at the very beginning of the hour.